Hello, I'm Tenran432. Today I'm going to be playing more of Mega Man Zero Two. Uh, in the last part, uh, El Paiso's plan to totally destroy New Arcadia in Operation Righteous Strike kind of flopped a little bit, so he got mad and ran, er ran away. And uh, we're gonna chase him down the next four missions. But before we do that, we're going to check out the rest of Resistance Base because I haven't really done that yet. So I'm gonna have a brief look of everywhere in the base. There's the maintenance room, and here's the nurse. I don't know her, remember her name. Let's see what she says. What's happening, Zero? If you have time, please talk to old Andrew. I want to listen to his stories, but I am needed here. If you talk with him, maybe you'll get something good out of it. Hint, hint, maybe you will. If you talk to him. Let's talk to this guy. Zero, are you using the transfer robot? It's very useful. Okay. I would assume that a teleporter might be pretty useful. Anyway, let's check out the rooftop resistance base. Um, jump over these cannons, drop down, and find this secret cyber elf here that I found on accident. Or not on accident, but I didn't. was looking for a cyber elf, and I just found one. And it just uh, cures you. There's nothing else on the rooftop, so this thing's pretty cool. But when you go in the tower, you're actually inside of the tower now. Mr. Zero, leave this area to me. I'll take care of any enemies by myself. Alright, there's our little guard for that tower. And now let's go to the right tower and see if that guy has anything to say. Or maybe anything to give to us. Oh, Mr. Zero, I found a lost cyber elf over here. Can you take this? I think this cyber elf would be a lot happier with the other cyber elves. Maybe it will. But then again, if I use it, it will die, so I don't think being a cyber elf would be very happy. Oh well, let's go to talk to Alouette. Oh, Zero, how are you doing in New Resistance Base? I was told not to go in the other room, so I'm talking with it here. Talking with it here. It's getting worse, so I hope Seal can fix it. Seal is busy. or Okay, I, I'm not sure what she just said. Okay, let's go into this room. <laughs> You're doing very well, newcomer. Now you must defeat me to move on. No, no, I was only kidding. You better be kidding. But then again, I can't really kill you because you're a resistance base member, so I'll let you, let you just sit there. Hey Zero, no one will believe me, but I'll tell you anyway. I saw a green wind blow in the sky for a moment, just when you were being carried here. <laughs> or maybe I was seeing an illusion. Uh-huh. Green wind. Sounds a little bit like uh, Harpuya, with his green clothes and his flying. Maybe he carried us over here for some reason. Oh well, third floor. Let's talk to old Andrew. Oh, Zero, are you doing well? When I was new, I used to cause everyone problems because I couldn't learn things quickly. But you're working very hard without complaining about anything. Good luck, young man. Oh. Anything else to say, Andrew? That's it? Okay. That would have been killed by the monster of a snake without you. Thank you, Zero. Okay, so on this side of the third floor and the second floor, it's just some dudes that you can rescue from missions. But I don't think they're very worth talking to. No offense, extra soldiers, but um, they don't really give you any info. They just say thank you. Ah, according to this guy, the pictures of the bosses, when we select a mission, are taken by resistance spies. So, you don't really think about these things when you just select a mission, but yeah, I guess I guess that's that's how you see their picture up there. So let's go to the first floor and see if there's anybody down there. Here's this guy. Zero! I'm worried about you very much. I must hurry, I must hurry, I must hurry! I've been working very hard in these days in order to please El Paizo. I wish I could do that in the controls and the operations in the control room. Okay, he wants to become an operator. That's... That's good. Let's talk to this little, little kid here. Nice to meet you, Zero. My name is Paraquiet. 
I came here to help Seal locate data, but there are just too many here. However, I think the data on baby elves that Seal wants is not here. Okay. Nice goggles you got there. Swirly eyes. There's in here. There should be some guy in there, right? Or, or I can just keep jumping around like that, I guess. Or not. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, Mr. Zero. My name is Atrush. I shouldn't say this. I'm tall and I'm not good at heavy work. In spite of the fact I have to carry goods and storage, I don't know who they assigned the assignment, but they do not have any knowledge of aptitude. Oh, I'm sorry. I really shouldn't complain. Okay, grab the cyber elf. That's what I really came in here for. And let's talk to this kid. Hiya, my name's Nart. I'm not liked by everyone just because I always blow off my work. Well, okay. Don't work so hard because you won't defeat New Arcadia. Oh, wow. Mernart, that's real encouraging words there. I guess I, guess I can just give up now and stop making YouTube videos. <laughs> then I'm not going to do that because Mernart doesn't know anything. So, now that we've looked over the resistance base, and I've already pretty much showed you the other side behind that door, so I'm just going to start a mission. Let's start the Seal says this must be the ruins of a lost civilization which Neo Arcadia has been administrating. This area is considered to be a forbidden land where even the Neo Arcadian citizens are not allowed to enter. I don't understand why well, El Paizo went there. So we're gonna have to do a little investigating. Just go there and find El Paizo. Assuming he is there at the current moment. Okay, teleport away. I wish you good luck from Seal. And let's get into mission. With a little cutscene. <laughs> Zero. Nice to see you again. Are you looking for me? Return to the base. What can you do here by yourself? Actually, I can do anything and everything. If I obtain a certain thing. I learned about something that makes you invincible once you obtain it. Thanks to these baby elves. You mean, the Dark Elf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I once thought it was something from mythology, but I was wrong. I have come to believe in it. The key to unlock the seal of the Dark Elf is somewhere around here. Let's see who will find it first. <laughs> you found El Paizo. Zero. Take care of them. Please. Alright, so here begins the level. It's uh, a lot like the other forest, but unlike um, that level, this one has Caterpies. Anyway, that's just a little Pokemon reference. I don't know if they're actually designed after Caterpie, or Caterpie, or I just said the same thing twice, whatever. But um, they sure look a lot like it. Anyway, in this level you can still burn the trees down. You know, like a good environmentalist would. But uh, you can find these items in the trees. And those enemies just popping out of the bottomless pits. Um, if you don't time your jumps right, they'll probably kill you. And that blue thing you can swing across on that we just passed by, but I don't think you have to with that one. So let's just continue on. Grab this extra life. Um, this blue thing you do have to swing across or else you will die by falling into a pit there. Just swing across. No big deal. And um, I think that other blue one leads to here. And I think it might lead to another one above me. I don't know, I've never actually um, done that before. Anyway, down here there's a secret little cyber elf that I found on accident. And um, it increases your maximum vitality. Obviously, I can't use it yet because I haven't leveled it up at resistance base. Now, up at the top of this cliff, there are 32 energy crystals, and I wasted a long time trying to get those um, while it was recording. So, for that, I'm just gonna edit this so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing.
Alright, so after that much time, I just kind of, uh, regained my senses and just kind of gave up on those 32 energy crystals because there's another matching pair right there. Um, so these ruins, there's a whole bunch of blocks, but they do look kind of weird, um, different than the ones that you can pull because these ones you can actually destroy pretty easily and find a whole bunch of items. Um, there's a few cyber elves, and there's a sub tank, and there's a lot of items you can find in this level. Um, you have to know what to do. You, you gotta use good work, use your chain rod well. Just kind of pull this over here, jump up, grab that, just kind of swing to the wall, and then destroy that. Or that's the, my easiest way of trying to get that cyber elf. And I don't know what's down here, so pull it. And I think I can see some more energy crystals, because, you know, you can never get enough of those. And, uh... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of the guys with shields and spiders. Um... In this... in these ruins. So you have to watch out for those. Grab all the items that you find. And they're... If you saw the cyber elf in the corner earlier, it's up here. I like kept, couldn't find it. Um, how do you get in there? So I just kind of spent about ten minutes the first time I played this in this ruin, trying to find the entrance to Cyber Elf. But I found it, as you can see. This isn't my first time playing the level. Um, but we got this mini boss again. But this time it's a little different because there are spikes on the ceiling, which means that when the water comes up and you try to jump, um, it'll be easier to accidentally kill yourself by hitting the spikes on the ceiling. There are no secret elves um, in this mini boss, unlike the other one. Let's continue on. I believe in an earlier video I said that this was a blind run. Um, I'll clarify that a little bit. I have not, um, before I started the YouTube, or the YouTube playthrough, I have not played it, but then, um, in preparation for each recording, I did play it, um, a bit to the end of levels. So just, uh, thought I should clarify that, just in case. But for the rest of these ruins, you've got a few more useful items. Um, I believe there's a sub-tank somewhere. But like I said, um, somewhere. This is a kind of big ruin, and uh, I kind of got lost while I was playing this, so I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of going around, shooting enemies, just kind of collecting whatever items I find. Um, but then I just saw the sub tank right there in the corner, so I'm gonna go over to that after I kill this thing with the claw. The claw. Um. Yeah, you can- I don't know if I already said so, or said, but you can, uh, take off the shields for those things. Did I say claw? Yeah, I meant, um, mace. Yeah, how did I mess those up? Uh, so, in the- when I first got to this part of the level, I destroyed the little blocks. Um, I destroyed the little block, and, uh, because of that, I, uh, had a harder time <sighs> getting up there to the sub-tank room, and then I instantly jump onto a pile of spikes. So here's what it would look like if you hadn't destroyed the block, way easier. But then you kind of have to destroy some of the blocks to get to the sub-tank. So you kind of gotta do this. Destroy that block. There's no spikes right below. But then you have to pull the block out, which, you use, which means you can't have destroyed that block. And uh, it's all kind of confusing if you don't know what to do. That's kind of a little basic puzzle. And you can still get these E-Crystals after after you grab the sub-tank. Um, so it doesn't really matter. As long as you don't destroy that block. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Am I repeating myself? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Am I repeating myself? Okay, well, anyway, now that I got that, I continue on the lo with the level. Um, I'm not sure what that block up there is supposed to do, so I'll just leave it there, and, uh, I don't think I'll need this chain rod for any more of the level. 
Um, and I think we should be almost to the boss. Any second now. This last part, uh, I think there's another item behind here, but I destroyed both of the blocks, so I can't really, uh, I have to be very careful about how I jump. Like that. <laughs> careful. Um, the spider comes there and gives you invincibility for a few seconds, so you can jump across the spikes. And then you get one that I think slows down time a little bit for you. I don't know, I don't really use the hacker elves that much. Let's just climb up here and... Grab this maximum health thing. After maybe we kill that thing right there with the mace. Okay, I don't really know why, but I think if you're close enough, the guys with the mace are just gonna jump at you instead of throwing the mace, actually. But, um, yeah, just grab that power up there. Then you can blast through all these robot spiders the size of dogs. Yeah, that's, that's normal. Spider size. But now we're at the boss, and here's... <laughs> Finally, I found the key! Nice try, Zero! <laughs> and he just runs away. Okay. Wh wait Wait, wait, wait! No one can go beyond here! Ribbit! Ribbit! This is an order of Master Harpoia! Ribbit! Uh-uh! Where at? Hmm? Is there someone on the other side of the door? Ribbit. No way! This must be a false alarm. I need to have my sensor replaced. Ribbit! So, uh, this boss is the... Uh, it's weak against fire. It's a frog. But, um, I'm not really sure what type it is. I mean, it's weak against fire, like I just said. But I think it's supposed to be the neutral type boss. Or maybe not, I don't know. But it shakes it shakes the walls and brings down the cat rain and it rains caterpies a little bit. And no matter what you do, you cannot let this frog eat the caterpies. Because when he does, he'll get bigger and uh, then it'll be a much harder boss in the end. So your fire charged saber will do a lot of damage. And, uh, that's pretty easy, as long as you don't let him eat the caterpillar. I mean, not caterpillar. Caterpie. Same thing. So there you go, he just blows up, like that. Alright, let's see what grade we got. We got a 56. I'd say that's pretty okay. Sluggish warrior. That's fine. I mean, I did take, like, forever on that. Messing with those energy crystals. But let's talk to Lopaiso here. <laughs> now all I have to do is break the seal of the Dark Elf. Then I'll be as strong as you, Zero. Or should I say, stronger than you? And stronger than you. Oh, don't get me wrong. I won't use this power for evil. I'll do this for world peace. And for Miss Seal. Me, 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 me. Mama, me. Sorry, Zero. I didn't expect them to have become that strong. X. As long as I'm protecting the seal of the main body, I'm not ready to deal with them. Don't worry. I'll handle it. She's responding to her children, Zero. We have no ch time. You must find a way to stop El Paizo. And then he just floats away. The Dark Elf. Mission accomplished. Transfer me back. Roger. Transfer commencing. Mission accomplished. Okay. Transfer in progress. Two. One. Swap. Transfer complete.
The Dark Elf. A key to unlock the seal? Invincible power? I'm not sure. What's El Paizo is up to? I believe it's wrong to bring the peace to the world with power. Please, Zero, please stop him. Alright, I'm out of time for today, so I'll just uh, call it a day here. I hope you enjoyed the episode. In the next part, we'll take on the next missions. Probably the next two. And, um, see you then. Peace and sheep. <laughs>